Welcome back everyone to another episode of Big Red's Isopods. This week we're going to be taking a look at some of our color morphs that we separated out about six months ago and taking a look and seeing how they're doing. So before further ado, let's get into it. Alright guys, so we're going to be taking a look at the three cultures that I split up a couple months back. This one here is my Procellia prunatus powder blues that have the red skirt that we separated out. As you can see, there's lots of monkai running around in here. Yeah, and it looks like they've kept the trait of that reddish skirt. As you can kind of see on this adult here, mostly on the back side, there seems to be like a red outline going around it. I know it's not the most extravagant morph, but I was seeing if we could really kind of highlight it and get it a little bit more pronounced. You can see that most of the young are carrying this trait. Well, what's going on there? Uh, some of them, however, seem to not have this trait, and that's just bound to happen. I didn't really think too much was going to... Oh, here's a great example of what I kind of want. You can kind of see on this one, he's got that red skirt along the outside, which is really what I want to to get and keep. It's It's hard to notice, really, but it's definitely there. You can really see it on the back end there. But that's what I'm trying to locate out with this one. There's one as well that's kind of has it there. It's not really that pronounced, but I figured I'd give it a try. See what it looks like. Obviously, they are breeding, which is fantastic. The numbers are getting up there quite a bit. I just recently started feeding these guys. I haven't actually looked into these containers at all until just now. I wanted to wait and take a look at it with you guys and also give them the space they need to kind of reproduce. But yeah, I just started feeding them a couple weeks ago, so I am gonna feed them today. Well, there's one there with quite a bit of red on him. Just sprayed him down. Well, he's almost turning into like an orange color. I'm not too sure what's gonna happen with these guys. Hopefully something good. Either way, we're just gonna give them a good feeding today. Not too terribly much, but there is a decent amount in there, so I do wanna, and they are Punatus, so they are a relatively hardy species, so they are gonna eat this up. So that's nice to take a look at it and kind of see how it's going. Like I said, I was really hoping for some more morphs, but it's not too bad as it is. It's nothing too extreme, but I figured I'd give it a shot and kind of see how it went now this culture here is the one i'm most excited to look at this is my armadillidium parake or paraca culture now this is the one with the white stripes or the white moor as you can see there's the the pure white morph right there the one that uh i really wanted to get in here as well as the one that with the stripe that we did see down there but it doesn't look like oh, Maybe there's one there. It kind of looks like there's one there that's got the white coloration to it. Yeah, you can see there is one. So that's awesome. I don't see any, any with stripes. This one's definitely a lot easier to notice the difference between the, the normal type, the wild type, and the ones. There's another one that I separated out with the white bum there. But it doesn't really look like too many have that morph. Maybe just the one young isopod that has the more. Now, I'm not going to look everywhere in here. I do want to take a couple peeks here and there. But I don't want to don't mess with them too much. I just kind of wanted to see how they were doing. See how the morph is coming along. But it looks like only one, maybe two of them have the, the morph that their parents have. So I am going to give them a little bit of food. I'm going to leave them alone again for a couple more, 
couple more weeks I will start feeding them more frequent now that I do know how many are in here. The numbers are getting up there quite a bit, which is nice to see. But unfortunately, it seems like um, they're not carrying the trait that I want them to as of yet. So we're just gonna have to wait, let them grow up and uh, separate them out again. The last culture we're gonna take a look at today is my Cubaris Marinas, the, the peach morph, which is another one that I'm semi excited about and that I think is gonna be a little bit more prominent, which it definitely looks like it is. You can see there's a lot, lot of peach isopods in here. You can see the coloration there, even this monkai here. It's very peach in coloration. I think this is one that's more spread throughout the, oh, there's an adult there that you can see is the, the regular color there. And a couple monkai that are the, the regular color, but there is a lot of peach monkai running around or young isopods. There's one right there you can see that it definitely has that peach morph to it. So you can tell that this is a morph that's more likely to come out in the isopods. I know that a lot of people commented on the video when I separated these out originally, saying that this was a, a morph that you can find in the hobby. A lot of people said that they even had this morph for their own. And you can definitely see why it's a lot easier to breed out, which is great, but also it, it is out there and available. So anybody who wants that morph, they can go out and get it. And it's awesome because if you don't have it and it comes up, it seems to be relatively easy to breed out. So this one I think is going to have the best luck out of all the ones that we took a look at today on continuing the morph. I really hope that the, the parakeet continues to morph out because that's the one that I really want to see. The red skirt was just me kind of trying something. I didn't want to try just to. I wanted to kind of mess around. I know it's not very pretty, but it's all right. But this one... I think it's gonna do great. Well, that's it for today, guys. I just wanted to kind of take a quick peek at the cultures and see how they were doing. Obviously, some of them seem to be doing a lot better than others. Um, I know it's really hard to kind of see what I'm talking about with the powder blue ones, but I know that if I were to continue working towards it, then maybe something would come out. Either way, it's just kind of an experiment. I just wanted to take a look at it. Um, obviously, the, the parakeet aren't doing as well as I had hoped. Even though that's really the one I was looking forward to, sometimes things just don't work out the way you want them to. But uh, it's really awesome to see that the peach is kind of moving towards the way I kind of want it to. It didn't really look like there was any wild type in there, even though I really started out with a lot of peach morphs. Kind of shows you how much work uh, other isopod enthusiasts, hobbyists, and breeders uh, go to to kind of get these morphs that we see in the hobby today and kind of shows uh, the appreciation you should have for the people that have actually put in the time to separate out these morphs, uh, get them to the spec that they are, and <laughs> have them available for all of us to enjoy. So it's, it's really awesome to see all the work that goes into uh, actually doing this uh, firsthand, and I'm glad to share it with you guys. So other than that, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you guys all again next week. All right, bye.